Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tahiri. Welcome to another SolidWorks tutorial. In this tutorial, we talk about basic features in assembly, and maybe there would be another tutorial I'll talk more uh, comprehensively about advanced features. The part you would like to uh, assemble is this. So there are 10 pieces together to make this uh, device, and we do it one by one. So let's just go to start a new uh, assembly. So when you do that, it asks you what is the main piece, main part. So there will be one part that you uh, evolve everything around it. And just go browse here. In my case, it would be this bracket here. So I bring the bracket here. I can place it anywhere I want. But this is going to be fixed. And now, one by one, uh, I bring the pieces. For example, uh, the first piece would be this uh, male uh, yoke. So this a uh, piece should go with inside this hole and I have to create one or a few mates in order to perfectly match them together. Let's just um, choose this uh, round surface. You mate that. When you open the mate it brings you standard mates and in this particular case uh, you want to make a co-center with this. As I press it it automatically recognize that so this is first thing but of course the position is not fixed and the next thing I want to have this surface and this surface to be made it together in this particular case they make it uh, with a distance of zero but I could also use a distance here and I can put one uh, zero point one millimeter which is more realistic and okay so this is made already okay so let's bring another piece so I want to bring the spider now. So this is the spider. And this has to be placed uh, between these two jaws. So first thing again, I select uh, this hole here. Then you put mate. Again, co-center with here. So now become co-center. OK. Now, I want to place this between these two jaws, therefore, uh, I go to another uh, feature here, it's called Advanced Mate, click on it, and I use Width, so I choose these two faces, this face and this face, and I want to place these two faces between here and here, and it's placed right in the position. This is done. Uh, next thing I would like to uh, bring up a pin that it will go through here. So this is the pin. So now when I bring the pin in our previous uh, tutorial, we showed that you can make uh, one piece, uh, one geometry, and then you have several different dimensions. And in this case, I have long and short. So I use long here. There we go. So it has to go all the way through so obviously this surface has to be mate and has to be co-center with this one here okay and then this surface and this surface to be flush with each other which is okay so it's a very logical relation and uh, SolidWorks is intelligent enough to understand when you want to have two surfaces go First thing comes is these two wants to be flushed with each others. Uh, now let's bring the next, which is the female yoke. Uh, let me just finish this here. So you go to the female yoke here. So same thing. So this uh, exactly the same. And uh, so. Let me just rotate this here. This circle it has to be uh, co-center. So let me just cover it again. Do it again. Uh, this has to be co-center with this. That's good. And then use exact same feature there with this surface and this surface 
to be between this surface and this surface and it's perfectly matched so now let's go bring another uh, pin uh, instead you have to press ok so we go here to pin so this pin in this case I need a short pin not a long one and I need two of them so we press control drag and make the second one There we go. So uh, again, so you choose this and you make a call center with here. Again, sometimes it doesn't take it for some reason. Let me bring it out here. So mate. And whole center to here. There we go. And press OK. And then this surface, and this surface, mm -hmm. this surface, and this surface. Got to press in this surface. So then this surface make this surface. Done. Very same thing here. Bring it here. Only. So you have um, this surface co center with this. And then OK. And then this surface. Flush with this. So you have to be careful with what you use. And finally, this is moving, so I want to make another relation. This surface to be parallel with this. Here it's done. So basically, I'm done with this part here. So I can do later on maybe another tutorial uh, collision detection. That's another feature here that these two actually collide with each other, and there should be a clear answer. We're gonna have that for you later on. Um, few basic things here I have one on this one I have got that there let's go back here um, I have the bracket I have the bracket here and this is my bracket let me bring the other two piece to so now I want to make this uh, relation here so obviously this uh, as you can see it has and there will be one more actually piece uh, and that would be the crank yes so of course the crank has to be placed right in this here so in that case this surface uh, let's start with actually this uh, circular cylindrical to be coincident with this. There we go, it's placed there. It doesn't show, but here is the one. So we make it okay. And then the next thing is I want this surface to be parallel with obviously this surface. So, and sometimes you want to. Now in this case is the opposite. This is parallel to two cases, and then you can change it like this, and it rotates. And this thing rotates that here. Now it's perfectly okay. And then finally, I want this surface and this surface to match together. Again, I can use a tolerance of 0.1, and this is done here. Uh, the next thing is. So I want to have again, let's rotate this here, this to be co-center with this, see here, let's go up again, and again, press OK, you want this surface to be parallel with Bring it out here with this surface. 
and this is correct. If you want to change it, you go this one here, you rotate it. So in this case, it's not what I need. And finally, in this case, maybe use uh, this. Okay, this is okay. And this surface and this surface to be flush with each others. Okay, and finally, I want to place uh, this piece here. There is another option, and I don't usually use it because it's a little sensitive, depends on how uh, sensitive your mouse is. But if you have something basic, you just want to go inside here, and you want to do it quickly, so let me do OK here. So you simply go, press Control, and uh, select it, and it just brings it right in the spot here. I see that. You see these two yellow uh, sign it means this is already been uh, coincident uh, and of course this surface I want to make that uh, with this surface and this is done my assembly is completed here. So I can simply uh, move this piece here. It does rotate and uh, moves. So uh, there are much more uh, into assembly. So there are lots of features. You can go one by one through it. Uh, sometimes you need to make several mates for one piece or one part to be exactly in the right position. Moreover, sometimes you have to limit, the, uh, for example, if this thing has to move within a certain degree, then you have to mechanically uh, limit the motion of that piece. So we can cover that maybe later on in a more uh, advanced assembly. And this uh, concludes our today's tutorial. Thank you.